All right, guys, reviewing Dochi Alligator Bites Never Heal. Dochi has been on the bubble for the past few years now, and with the release of this mixtape, her momentum is definitely not slowing down. This album is for real hip hop heads and music lovers, people that really know their shit. Starting off with Stankapoo, it sounds like something that to me would have been on Tyler the Creator's Goblin or Bastard, some of his early stuff. It sounded super gritty and scary, and she's on there rapping super aggressive and hard as fuck. The hard aggressive vibes continue on Bullfrog, where she keeps up her I'm that bitch kind of style raps over a really weird bassy string instrumental that's hard to describe to me, but it definitely just works. Then it goes into Boiled Peanuts, another hard ass boom bap instrumental that I'm in love with. Probably my second favorite song on the whole album. The way it transitions from the bass and the wiggly horn into the ethereal cool chimes was just done so incredibly. And Dochi is still in her super aggressive bag as the hook boasts this evil laugh in between some maniacally hard verses. Nile as a River was a cool storytelling track about a bunch of different things going on in her life, like dating a man who was gay, the label wanting TikTok music and virality, dealing with addiction, and a bunch of other just relatively shitty things that happened in her life that I thought was really cool. Then it's Catfish, another one of my favorite beats on the album. It's super dark and minimal. And Dochi is on that song rapping like she's mad at the beat, mad at dick riders, mad at anyone who thinks that she isn't one of the best rappers out. And there's no way I would say best female rapper because she would vomit if I said that, as she definitely thinks she's one of the best rappers out, period. And it might be true. Skib is a bit of a departure from the super aggressive lyrics uh, from the beginning of the album. It's the first taste on the project of her melodic delivery, done very well. And I also love the beat with the cool chopped and screwed vocal in the background. Then from Hide and Seek until Death Roll, the album softens up a lot and induces a lot more therapeutic R&B type of sounds, all done incredibly well but I just love the harder stuff so much more. I'd say I really tuned back in at the single Nissan Altima. I loved her speedy, cool, frantic flow on the song and the beat was really dope with the upbeat piano stabs. That song kind of transitions this part of the album back into the more aggressive vibe that it starts with. And when I listen to a song like Nissan Altima, it just makes me think of an artist like Azalea Banks because I feel like an artist like Dochi is taking the essence of that artist and elevating it to the highest highs as Azalea Banks did not reach as high as she could have by constantly getting in her own way. GTFO and Huh are two huge highlights for me as well. I would say that GTFO might be the most mainstream rapping you'll ever hear Dochi. It sounds like something Flo Millie would hop on. And Huh is likely my favorite track on the whole album. One of the coolest beats. It has these cool floating piano chord stabs with these atmospheric electronic sounds surrounding it. And her delivery on that track is a lot different than the others. It's lyrical, but it's a lot more spaced out and seems to be like vibe and pocket focused. I would say Cardi-esque, but not really. Then the album closes out from Slide to the title track being the last track, Alligator Bites Never Heal. Kind of reintroduces more chilled out, therapeutic, vibey, R&B type of sounds. Again, not necessarily my favorite, but I could see some people liking those songs more than the ones I like a lot. Overall, in my opinion, this album is a masterclass in lyrical ability, artistry, creativity. It's an album for real fans of music and lyrics and rapping your ass off. TDE has undoubtedly done it again with developing Dochi into an incredible artist, and I would expect nothing less from one of the greatest labels to ever be created. Scoring Dochi's Alligator Bites Never Heal, a 9 out of 10, incredible.